Welcome to this lesson today. We want to look at this question. Uh, like I told you that as you do so many questions, you, you, you see these things becoming very simple. So make sure you practice. You practice and practice and practice. And I'm sure you will be able to, 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 to handle any question whether it is packed iteration, whether it is which, whichever iteration you will get, you will be able to handle it. You are provided with zero uh, with 1.0 mora hydrochloric acid solution T, 0 0.5 mora sodium hydroxide solution, and hydrous sodium carbonate of a known mass, solid V, solid V. Procedure, measure 60 centimeters cube portion of one molar hydrochloric acid solution T using a measuring cylinder and transfer it to 250 centimeters cube picker. Add all sodium carbonate solid V to the acid in the beaker and stir gently. Leave the mixture until there is no effervescence. Add 40 centimeters cube of distilled water into the mixture to make 100 centimeters cube of solution. Label this solution W. Fill the puree with solution S. Pipette 25 or centimeters cube of solution W and transfer it to a conical flask. Add 2 to 3 drops of methyl orange indicator and titrate with solution S. Repeat the titration to get two more concordant values. Let us fill the table using these values. 21.2 20.2 20.8 20 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 This one is 21.2 20.8 20.8 We have filled the table completely. The next equation is to determine the average volume of solution used. The solution used is solution S. You must always remember that. So the average volume, because this one is, it seems to be out, let us to do the form, the, the average of these two, because they are close. That is 20.8 plus 20.8. <clears throat> so let me try to explain what is happening in the procedure. We have taken 60 centimeters cube of hydrochloric acid. The hydrochloric acid has reacted with solid V, right? Uh, and then after the reaction has ended, we add 40 centimeters cube, making the solution 100. We label this solution W. Well, so what is W? W is hydrochloric acid. That one should ring into your mind. This is HCl. Remember this, the original is called solution T. We have prepared the new one called solution W. This one is HCl that remained after reacting with solid V. So the excess acid is what we have labeled here solution W after diluting it more. We have solution W. So solution W is HCl. We have solution S which is now reacting with W. S is sodium hydroxide. It is important to understand like that. Now we know HCl is reacting with sodium hydroxide. Calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide solution S used. Solution S, we have used 20.8. But we have the morality of solution S. That one is easy. 0 0.5 capital M. Means 0 0.5 is the number of moles in 1000 centimeters cube. We will ask 20.8. We will ask 20.8. 
contains how many? So it is 20 times 0 0.5 divided by 1000. This one will give you 0 0.0104 moles. Find the number of moles of hydrochloric acid in 25 cm cube solution W. Solution W has reacted with S. Therefore, we use the relationship in the equation. Sodium hydroxide plus HCl. We know it is going to form sodium chloride plus water. We know the ratio is 1 to 1. But this one is solution S, solution W. The volume here is 25. The volume here is 20.8. 20, 20 it is important to know that. Now, since the ratio is 1 to 1, more ratio is 1 to 1, meaning that the, the number of moles in sodium hydroxide is equal to the number of moles of 25 cm cube solution W. So, moles of HCl equal to 0 0.0104 moles because the ratio is 1 to 1. Determine the number of moles of hydrochloric acid in 100 centimeters cube of solution W. Now we have the number of moles of solution W in 25 centimeters cube. Now what will it be in 100? A hundred, this is moles. One hundred centimeters cube will contain how many? One hundred times zero point zero one zero four times twenty five, or divided by twenty five, which is equal to zero point zero four one six moles. This is the number of moles in twenty in hundred. Calculate the number of moles of hydrochloric acid in the original 60 centimeters cube of solution T. That one is simple because we have the concentration of solution T. One mole hydrochloric acid solution T. So this is the number of moles in one liter. What about the volume that we have been given? So one mole is in a thousand centimeters cube. 60 centimeters cube will contain how many? So it is 60 times 1 divided by 1000, and this one is going to give us 0 0.06 moles. This is the number of moles in 60 of the original solution. G, calculate the number of moles of hydrochloric acid reacted with sodium carbonate. So, calculate the number of moles that reacted with the carbonate. Remember, we took 60 centimeters cube solution T. We put the solid phi inside the reacted, and then we diluted this solution to 100. So, to get the number of moles that reacted with the solid V, sodium carbonate, we subtract the number of moles in 60, the original, minus the number of moles in 100 solution W. So moles in 60 solution T subtract moles in 100 centimeters cube solution W will give us the number of moles of HCl that reacted with the carbonate. So that is 0 0.6 uh, 0 0.06 minus 0 0.0416 moles. This one is 0 0.0184 moles. Calculate the number of moles of sodium carbonate that reacted with hydrochloric acid. Calculate 
calculated the number of moles of sodium carbonate that they reacted with the drug. We know the relationship between the carbonate, so it is sodium carbonate, which is reacting with HCl. The ratio that the, the, this one is forming sodium chloride plus water plus CO2. So here we have two here, we put two here and then two here. But we have the number of moles of HCl, which is 0 0.01, this one, 84. We can see clearly that the ratio here is 1 to 2. So the ratio is 1 to 2, the carbonate and the acid. The carbonate to acid. The ratio is 1 to 2. So it means that the moles of the carbonate is going to be a half. You can see that. So moles of sodium carbonate equal to a half times 0 0.0184 which is equal to 0 0.0092 moles yes determine the mass of sodium carbonate that reacted with acid mass RFM moles mass. We want mass. How do you get mass of a substance equal to moles, the moles of that substance times the RFM? Now, moles, we have the moles of the carbonate, is this one 0 0.0092 times the RFM of the carbonate. So, sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate is written like this. This is 46. 46 plus uh, 12 plus this one will give you 106. So the RFM of sodium carbonate is 106. And that one will give you 0 0.9752 grams of sodium carbonate. Grams of sodium carbonate. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time.